I said that and slipped up and said, this isn't Arkansas, this is going to be the same person. Nick got really quiet. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, crap. And finally some lady cleared the back and went, that's okay, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, oh, my God, thank you, you rescued me. On the other hand, I'm really nervous. <laughs> Because that's what combat is. That's two people that are armed. Otherwise, that's just normal Saturday night. Justifiable homicide. And without training, the average human response if somebody jumps out and attacks you with a three-foot sharpened razor blade, without training, the average human response looks kind of like this. No, you kill me. <laughs> the giggling that bothers me. <laughs> it wasn't part of our show, but the first time she got to do that, that's what happened. And everyone in the audience giggled with her. <laughs> Thanks. What you just saw, though, was the flinch response. It's about one step up from the fetal position. And just so we're clear, not only is the fetal position of no use on the battlefield, it is not going to help you in your dating life, either. Uh, so that brings us to the next part. We train. And this is our shout out to the greatest movie of all time, The Karate Kid. The first one. Not the one that was released everywhere else in the world except for the United States as the Kung Fu Kid. But they released it as the Karate Kid here because they assumed Americans are too stupid to know that Japan and China are two different countries. I still angry about that. Huh? Still! <laughs> Forever. So, yeah, it actually was. So, that really cool block you learned, show me paint defense. That block was not intended to be used against a three foot sharpened razor blade. That was for somebody preferably slower and weaker than you punching at your face and you block it. If someone jumps out with a three foot sharpened razor blade and swings it violently at your head, and your best idea is to go, ah! What, son? Arm off. I win! <laughs> sword was designed to go entirely through the human body. You throwing your arm out to block it is the sort of move you can only pull off once. Yep. And you don't even pull it off. <laughs> hey uh, See? What? Twice. You are. <laughs> yes, dear, but here in Missouri, they consider that a Darwin Award. <laughs> <laughs> can we talk about Darwin here? This isn't Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lady sitting right, right about where you are, who got mad at me during our show. I know you won't believe anybody would ever be offended or angry at me. But she got mad at me, and not just the, I'm getting my money back. She got mad at me the way your mother gets mad at you. Oh, you ever had, raise your hand if you ever had your mom get mad at you. If you're not raising your hand, you're either lying or adopted. <laughs> <laughs> this woman got mad the way my, I mean, your mom gets mad at you. <laughs> And it goes in phases. Phase one is this one. That blank look, and if there's a dialogue bubble, it says, oh no, you did not just do that. <laughs> Step two. <laughs> Step three. And when they get to this one, it is too late. The apocalypse is upon you. <laughs> this woman went through the whole thing, and I'm enjoying it because it means at least somebody's listening. And then she started screaming at me during my show. Not the little bit of heckling to get that I like that. She was screaming at me. Hey! You can't say that! Do you know where you are? I'm like, I'm on stage. <laughs> She's like, you're in Kansas. Do you know what that means? And I went, got it. We'll talk slower. <laughs> I'm going to sit by her. Yes, 
Get back up there and let her have a fair shot at you. Come on, get back up here! No! Yes! Look, no matter how stupid I get, this show is supposed to be educational entertainment. They were entertained. <laughs> Thank you. 